Hello, planet. Welcome back to Mother Seresso's Decadent Guide to Jersey Shore, man. We had a rockin' first ten minutes, man. Christina called up, said she was over at uh, at uh, McIntyre's last night hanging out with BBE. Uh, I think she was bullshitting, though, because she said you were hot. Yeah, thanks. Thank you so much. I got this at Kmart. Um, <laughs> but uh, anyway, Christina, thank you so much for calling in, and I hope you didn't get in any trouble. If you'd like to call in, of course, the number here is 732 506 Nine three one one. We'd love to have you. And now it is time for Mother Ceresso's first ever guest on Mother Ceresso's Decadent Guide to the Jersey Shore. I would like to introduce you to a dear friend of mine, a great, great guitar player. And uh, as of a, about a year now, ho! Oh, how about we hold that thought for one minute and take this call? What do you think? Can I help you? Or not? <laughs> so about a year ago, he founded uh, Nick's Music at PMI, which of course is on Route 9 in Estella Plaza in Tom's River. And uh, as soon as my wonderful producer is done selling baseball cards, we're going to go ahead and pan out. And I'm going to ask you all, please, say hello to my good friend, Mr. Nick Chili of Nick Chili and the Bean. Yeah, how are you doing, Nick? What are you doing, Nick, with that hair, baby? Let it dry. That's a beautiful it's, thing. It's still wet. It's a beautiful thing. You're a rock star today, man. You look yeah, like a rock star yeah, today. I, I, you know, I wake up every morning feeling more and more like a rock star. It's a beautiful yeah. thing. It's a beautiful thing. So, uh, Nick Chili and the Beans, man. Tell me a little bit about Nick Chili. And, although I happen to be the singer. One of two singers in the group. Tell me a little yeah. bit about Nick Chili and the Beans. Um, Nick I love Nick Chili and the Beans. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I have uh, some great players that really want to learn music and play it together. Some want to go out and play it more than others, you know. <sighs> make a living at it but uh, that time will come you know um we've got a great young bass player mm -hmm. paulie parker parker brothers you know, coming parker on brothers later, yes yeah, uh, yeah they, they are mm -hmm. they're coming around oh, that's studio, cool that's cool in studio i haven't seen them in a while <laughs> um yeah we got a wonderful five minutes voice ago. five minutes ago yeah. <laughs> what happened five minutes ago you saw the parker brothers oh anyway uh we have a wonderful female singer jill yeah, that's right jill, um, jill Ramy, right yeah she can she teaches at uh the music store, you know. At PMI. Um, yes, PMI, Professional, Professional Musicians Institute. Right, man. Right. Um, we have, uh, you know, Tommy, the has-been on drums. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pork and beans. <laughs> um, he's Paul, a, he's a refried bean. He's, he's, a, he's a wonderful uh, person. Let me tell you, he's got a wonderful personality. That's right, he's very yes. bright and shiny. We love yes, Tommy. Yes, we love Tommy. We love Tommy. And then we've got Pat Schick. Yes, who, who I still Pat can't figure lightly. out. Yes, yeah, no, he's, 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 he's a man with many, many hats. Now, Pat, Pat Schick was the bass player for a band called Red Engine 9. Yes. Uh, quite a few. They had a monicum of success in original act, and then mm -hmm. he switched over to uh, rhythm guitar. Yeah. And uh, it's rocking on a rhythm yeah, guitar. He loves and, it. You know what? As, as I think for me, that's one of the coolest things about this is that, um, uh, you know, you get guys that are like just... I'm just getting back into it. You're, I mean, you've been out. You were out of the scene for a while. Yeah, right? a long we played, time. Nikki and I played in the fillings together back a long, like That's not that ten, long, what ten years ago? About ten years ago, man. Ten years ago, we played in a band called the Fillings. So listen, man. Um, tell me a little bit about. Of course, um, we started jamming in the basement, right? Mm -hmm. Chilling the beans, and um, the whole idea then it became conceptual. We were going to do a set. At the picnic in the park. The picnic in the park. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, about that's a um, fundraiser for muscular dystrophy, mm -hmm. um, and there's usually around 2,500 people that attend. Uh, Mulberry Street um, caters it. They have pig roasts. They have um, food, beer, you you name it. You know, sand art for the kids. It's a lot of yeah, fun. Yeah. Spin art clowns. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Like and. It's, it's it's twenty dollars for the ticket Advanced, all day. Right? Yes, twenty five at the door. So it's a good all, cause. All eat. Yes, it is, and uh, a lot of people donate to it. Um, so there's plenty of food and drink and you know entertainment. There's, there's going to be the Jazz Lobsters, uh, Big Baby Ernie, uh, Johnny Pipe, um, the Mango Brothers, and, and us. Up, yeah, Nick, Nick Chili and the Beans, beans yeah, baby. Be a lot of fun. We're, we're going to kick it off at one o'clock, June fourteenth, um, in Pine Park, and I believe that's in Lakewood. Now, where, there's a website or anywhere we can go? Uh, well, you can go to uh, Pine Park, Google it, uh, Pine Park, New Jersey. It'll give you directions on how to get there. Um, you know, it's a lot of fun for the kids and for adults and, you know, for people who like music. Absolutely. So, and, it, and it goes, you know, it's a good cause. And that, now that, 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 that cost of initial fee for the entry, uh, the $20 to $25 to come in, then you eat and drink 
on that twenty dollars, right? $25. Yeah, you're done. So that's you're it. Done. All costs. I know. Included. I know they, they probably have you know raffles that are extra. I know there's a the one raffle is. It, it says to be around ten thousand dollars. I don't think you can say sure. raffle anymore when you're doing the when you're doing the charity stuff. Whatever you gotta, it is, you got to say 50-50 Fifty fifty. Now. 50, probably right, the same yeah. people who who don't allow you to smoke in bars anymore <laughs> made that rule. If you're I one of those, people, bars? you know, if you're, I'm smoking right now. As a matter of fact, I smoke all the time. If you're one of those people that made up that rule, I would like to just urge you right now, just poke yourself in the eye if you don't mind. <laughs> Stick your finger all the way in there. I think would be great, freaking great. So. um... Picnic in the Park, Saturday, June 14th. June 14th. Pine Park, 1 to 6. Yes. It's going to be absolutely a rocker. Right? I can't wait to play. Yeah, man. If you're you listening, if you're coming down that weekend or if you're from down here, I would urge you. Hey, I have the tickets at the store. What? Right, okay. So you go right to Nick's Music. Yep. You call 732-240-5000. You will get me or Jimmy. Jim Bean. Jimmy the Bean. Jimmy the Bean. Jimmy the Bean. And uh, just ask for directions or, or you know, uh, uh, see if I still have some tickets left. I still have a pretty good amount. So still rock and get them tickets yeah. in advance, man. Would, yeah. it, would, it, would it be appropriate to call your groupies Beanheads? Oh, they could be Beanheads. Yeah, Beanheads would be all right. I kind of like yeah. that. Could be yeah, you. Yeah, you like that? I like that. Beanheads. I like that. Beanies. Beanies. Beanies would be sweet. Beano. Beano. Would be, you know, it would be nice if we had some groupies. Bean bags. <laughs> Groupies would rock. Hot ones. <laughs> I would call them all the time <laughs> if I had some groupies. I... Yes, well, yes. So that's happening thing, man. So listen, Nick's music. Talk to me about Nick's music. What's going on over there? Uh, picks, sticks, strings, guitars, ukuleles, banjos, mandolins, drums. You need picks, you need sticks, yeah, you got to go to Nick's. That's it. There that's, it is. That's a fact. You know, there you go. I, uh, I, I do a very good special order business. You know, you come in. I don't have it. I'll have it for you in two days. Or if I can't get my hands on the item, I'll tell you I can't for a week or whatever. But I'm true to my word, and you know I make I'm there to serve people. You know, there to serve. And, uh, I've been there a year, and I've taken a very little amount of money and built it into you know I have a lot of stock. Rock and store. You know, rock and store. Actually, you don't have to take his word for it. You can see the commercial. Yeah. Actually, when we go to break, you'll see uh, Nick's music. And it's uh, been it's been it's been a lot of fun. You know, I, I love dealing with the kids that come in for lessons, and you know I started giving lessons a couple months ago. On Thursdays, and just to watch the way these kids get excited about, you know, they can play their first C chord or D chord, or you teach them, you know, Metallica riff or something, and they're just, you know, rock they, on, they, they dude. They go home, and it's, it's, you know, you they know, come back so next guys, week, it's, great. It, it's safe to say in a few weeks your students will be out of school to be able to tune in on Tuesdays. Sure, you know that's a big thing, mm -hmm. actually. You, you may have touched on something there, Rick. That's you gotta watch your mouth. That's a, yeah, or they have to. And watch those Kmart mouth. specials. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they don't come that often. Oh, there's another one. But um, <laughs> actually, man, no, that's something I really wanted to make a point of. You know, uh, having been a musician for like ever, like over 20 years on the shore, um, coming up with uh, uh, coming up starting out in the 80s, um, Bernie DiPolito from Frankie and the Burn, yeah. who is yet another incredible, incredible band. Uh, one of one of one of the Greatest acts you can you'll find. I, I played with them Sunday, and I had a blast. The two, uh, as two, I, I always do with them. It's like it's like it's like getting a um, lesson on uh, musical grammar every time I'm with. Right, them, you, know? you always learn something yes. when, when you're with Frankie and Bernie, man. I mean, they're just consummate professionals. They're amazing musicians. Um, if you're coming down, if you're going to be in the area, you find Frankie and Bernie. Go to frankieandbernie.com, uh, or uh, or give us a call, man. We'll tell you what they're going to be. They're, well, they're, they're at the Beachcomber every Sunday, 4 to 8. I well, have that right here, yeah. as a matter of fact. Which you didn't that's, say that's it. Four to, well, I was going to go for the whole rundown. Oh, for the, for the people who don't know where the Beachcomber is. Yeah, the Beachcomber's in Seaside on DuPont. And, and Boardwalk. At, yeah, Boardwalk. Right on the Boardwalk. they got great food. Right across from uh, you know, Great Stakes view. Unlimited. I mean, the ocean is right there. you got uh, wonderful music. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Sundays. Sundays are great. Sundays uh, he, are absolutely jamming. And, he's you know, he's got acts... Uh, pretty much, I think Thursday night, Shorty Long. Friday night go, goes with Friday else. night. This Friday night, June sixth, going to be Matt Knopf singer. Band. Oh, there you go, Matt. Oh, hey, we got another call. Let's see if it's actually for us. And that uh, Matt Knopf singer with uh, three dollars Smirnoff vodka flavors is the drink nice. special. Nice. Well, Ooh, my, that's well, my good. producer Rick sees this one of them right now. Us. Yeah, me too, man. You ain't kidding. I got to go open the store. Oh no. Oh, yeah. 